And let's say I wanted to jump down to one of these sections, I could just click on the left hand side and it's gonna take me right down to that section. Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the outline feature in Google Docs. I found that this feature can really help you to organize the document and also help you to jump ahead to certain parts of that document, especially if it's multiple pages. So to get started with this feature, what you wanna do is click the arrow that's next to normal text. And this gives you some different options. What I'll do first is I have a title here, so let's just highlight this title, okay? And I'm gonna make this the title. So I go down here to title and I can say apply title. Now it's gonna change to whatever text that title is set at. And it was set at Times New Roman, I can see here. So if I wanna adjust that at this point, I can. I can just click this and let's say I wanna make it uh, cabin. Okay, so now it's cabin, and then I can also change the size. I'm going to decrease it a little bit. Doesn't need to be quite that large. 19, that looks good, like that. Okay, let's say my sections here, I'm going to call those headings. And so I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to go up again and click the down arrow. And then I'm going to go to heading one. If I like the way that my heading is already set up in the document, I could just click this update heading one to match. But instead, this time, I'm gonna say apply heading one. And now you can see it changed the font size. Now I remember that the font size here was 19. So what I'm gonna do here is make this smaller. And I'm just gonna decrease the size so that it's not competing with the, the title. And let's just say I make it 16. Okay, so there's my heading one. And if I wanna change the font, I can. Again, I'll make this cabin. And again, I can go over here to the drop down arrow and I can update heading one to match. Now I'm going to show you why that's important. So if I go down in the document to my next section, here's the next section. I can highlight that. And then what I can do is go here and then I can click apply heading one. And that will match now what I have up here, the same font size and font type. Now, why are we doing this? Well, to stay organized with this, on the left-hand side, you'll see this symbol and it says show document outline. So I can click that show document outline. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have my title here and now I'm gonna have my sections. And this will I'm automatically jump down to that section. So if I click this right here, you can see it's gonna jump right to section 3.2. Now, if I go back to the top of the document and I wanna have some subheadings in here, what I can do next is I can highlight the subheading and I can go up here to the drop down arrow. I'm going to click heading two and apply heading two. And then if I want to make some adjustments to that I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to make this 14. I'll change the font to cabin and keep it consistent. Now that I made that heading two, which is considered a subheading, I can go up here and I can go back over to that and say update heading two to match. And notice how it indents that subheading underneath this heading here. So I like that feature so that I can start to see some organization in an outline format on the left-hand side. Okay, so let's continue and take a look at this a little bit more. I'm going down to the next section here and I'm just gonna highlight this and then I'm gonna make it heading one. I can just click on heading one and it automatically matches my other headings and it puts it in here as a new heading. If I wanna make these subheadings right here, what I could do is I can click the drop down and make that heading two, and it automatically pops up there. Since I just did that function, another thing that you can do is, let's say I wanna go down here and make this another subheading right here. You can do control Y, and that will just repeat the last thing you did in the document. Instead of going up there and clicking, you can actually just use control Y to repeat a process. Now I'm starting to form this nice outline on the left-hand side. Now I'm back to the top of the document. I'm gonna highlight this picture and make that smaller. And let's say I wanted to jump down to one of these sections. I could just click on the left-hand side and it's gonna take me right down to that section. So I hope that was helpful in showing you how to use that outline feature. It can really help you get organized, especially if you have a really long document and it's gonna help you and your students because that will show up also for the students on, on the left-hand side. If they need to jump around to different sections of notes, for example, they'll be able to do that. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments or you can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.